Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now that we've created a presentation, let's look at how to save it. When you save anything, you should always know what folder into which you're saving it and where that folder is located on your computer system. And this is called the pathway or folder directory of the file. So an example might be C, My Documents, or F, PowerPoint, Presentations. There are several different variations you could make. But first of all, just make sure that you have an open presentation in your main screen area. And this may be an old presentation or one you've just created. Either way, once it's opened, it can be saved in a few ways. You can use the standard toolbar or the menu bar. So let's look at using the menu bar first. First, you would move your mouse pointer over File and give it a click. In the submenu, roll over the Save As command and give it a click as well. You'll see the Save As dialog box appear. And in this dialog box, you get to select into which folder you want to save the current presentation and what you want to call it. Beneath the blue title bar is what's called the Save In drop-down box. It'll show you the listing of folders for your currently selected drive, or all the drives if you haven't selected one yet. You can click the downward pointing arrow to display a list of folders, and click the one you want to save your presentation into. You can also see at the bottom the file name text box. Here you can click and drag over the information and type in your own title. So make sure you give your presentation a descriptive name in the box. You cannot use some characters when creating file names such as the forward slash or backslash, the colon or semicolon, less than or greater than, the double quotes, the asterisk, or the pipe symbol. Those are all illegal characters. Now when you finish typing in your name, press the button to the right that says save. This saves your presentation to the folder you selected in the Save In dialog box drop-down. Now once you've created this saved file, you no longer need to use the Save As dialog box to save changes to the same file. So once you've changed that same file in the future to save the changes, you can just simply use the standard toolbar and click the Save button. Or you can choose File and simply choose the Save command versus Save As. This will save the presentation to the folder you originally selected using the same name. So there's no pop-up dialog box for this. It'll just save the work automatically. Now, if you try and click the Save button or choose File Save and it's a new presentation, then it will still present you with the Save As dialog box if it's the first time you saved the particular presentation. Otherwise, it just behaves as if you had selected File Save from the menu bar. It automatically saves it to the location you originally designated with the original file name. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.